guys, welcome to the worst kept secret in Enid. So uh, we have a little video to show you guys and then we'll do a little bit more talking. So who's surprised? <laughs> cool. So where's Brady? Oh, there he is. Cool. Get up here. Don't make me stand here by myself. Anyway, so um, my name's Justin Blazier. I've been brewing um, beer for about oh seven years or so. Um, it's been my passion for about that long. Um, I've made a ton of beer over these past seven years, about a batch or two a month, it seems like. Um, I'd say half of you have been over to my house and gotten it for free. So, again tonight. Yeah, and again tonight. So I'm sorry, you might have to pay for it from now on. Um, but thank you all so much for being here. We wanted to give you guys this preview of what's going to be in this building. Um, it's been a long time coming, and actually the hard work is just about to start to begin. So, but um, we, we are super excited to bring this brewing company to downtown Enid. And as you saw in the video, um, we are a partnership with Enterprise Grain Company, Brady Sidwell here. And we have a local grown barley and wheat that we're making the beer out of. It's all malted and everything. Um, and uh, we're, we're truly taking um, local grown product and bringing it full circle and Grain to glass is our concept, so you know exactly where this stuff is coming from. It really ties the community in, and we're right here on the corner of Maine and Independence, across from the new hotel that will be here. Our goal, everybody keeps asking when we're going to be open. Our, our hopeful goal is January. Our realistic goal is we will be open before that hotel is open. So <laughs> that is the, the main thing. Um, I'll talk one, just a second about the building, so I, I hope that you guys can all hear me. But um, our, our plan with this building is there used to be windows over here on the south wall. We're gonna take those windows back out, really open it up, get some more light in here. We're gonna put a door in. There's gonna be an outdoor patio. You can kind of think sidewalk cafe type of thing and it will be railed off to where you can bring your beer out there. Um, behind me, this wall will move out just a little bit, but there's gonna be a giant window and you'll be able to see inside the brewing room, um, all the stainless steel tanks, everything that we're making the beer with. Um, and then everything else is storage in the back and then we'll also have some um, bathrooms and everything like that for you guys. You're standing in what will be the tap room, obviously. Um, on the north wall will be all of the taps um, and the bar will be about 30 feet long, seat a ton of people. There'll be different sections of seating. We'll have TVs, people can come and watch games, hang out. And we really just wanna be a welcoming place for the community um, and, and just be a place that you can come, have some beer, um, know where it's coming from and just promote as much community atmosphere as possible. So again, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you like the beer. Please get those comment cards, rank the beer, and if you put your name on them and put them in the bucket that is on the uh, east side of the bar over there, the orange bucket, the orange bucket it says 81 feed and seed, which he'll talk about here in a second. Um, we're going to do a drawing. We actually have some hats and stuff to give away. Yep. Um, some of our t-shirts, which you can see the people at the bar have on, and they also have a logo. There's the, some logos. The logo has been unveiled behind the bar. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Um, like us. If you go to Instagram or Facebook right now, it's at Enid Brewing Co. If you like that, we're going to do a random giveaway for whoever likes those things. You'll get a t-shirt tonight. Um, also, if you fill out those comment cards, put it in that bucket. 
Um, we're going to do a drawing, and we have two tickets to go see Lone Star um, on August 2nd. So we'll be giving those away as well. So anyway, thank you guys again, um, and here is my partner, Brady Sidwell. All right, thank you, Justin. And I have to say, Justin is a true artist. Um, you know, a lot of people think about making beer and different things, but the more I've learned about this and about Justin, I mean, he is truly an artist, and I'm so excited to have found Justin and be, have been introduced to Justin a while back, actually, and we kind of text back and forth and never thought much of it, and I was just thinking today, is if you would have, if you would have told me a year ago, or, ten, or five years ago when I was living in Hong Kong, or a year, two, three years ago in Chicago, or just a year ago, that I was going to open a brewery in Enid with, with anyone, with Justin in particular, um, I would have thought, wow, that's crazy. Um, Actually, three years ago, if you would have said I would open an elevator, that it was even crazier, probably. Um, I grew up on a farm just outside of Enid, and uh, I just wanted to ask how many farmers actually do we have in the crowd tonight? Oh, and and this is what I think is is very cool about what we're trying to do that is different than any brewery in the country. And as many of you may know, that we have a malt business, so we take grain. Uh, when I say grain, it's mainly wheat, of course, and barley, two-row barley. Uh, we're looking at some six-row barley from local producers, and we malt that grain that is supplied to brewers around the state. So we started Enterprise Grain in 2016. We actually uh, acquired a malt business um, in January, January, February this year, and then have, have kind of fastly accelerated that, you know, we should do this right here in Enid. But we, we supply about 12 breweries around the state of Oklahoma right now. Um, we also supply some of the distilleries with all their base malt. So we think it's really cool to think that in almost every glass of craft beer around the state of Oklahoma, there's a little bit of Northwest Oklahoma, and there's a little bit of Enid, and there's a little bit of the farmer's grain that is from this area, and we're making it happen. Um, and now we're gonna be able to serve that uh, right here in our brewery. Um, so, just like I say, talking with some of the brewers around is, we're the only brewery, as, as we're aware, Curtis, make sure you get this, in the country that is integrated from, in, integrated from, from you know, selling the seed to the farmers, uh, taking it at our elevator at Enterprise Grain in, in Kremlin, uh, malting that grain, um, and then making beer out of it to serve to the, the Enid community, but all of, of Northwest Oklahoma and the small towns like where I'm from, Goultry, uh, that, that come to Enid for everything, right? So, um, and we're also, and we didn't mention this yet, but we're also the only brewery that's going to be serving the beers, right, Mitch, we're working on this? Okay, that, that's serving the beers of our malt customers from around the state of Oklahoma here in Enid. So not only are you going to have the beers that we're making in this brewery, uh, we're going to try to bring from Ponca City, Vortex Alley, all the, all the guys in, in uh, Tulsa that we supply in Oklahoma City and Pryor, and all of the other breweries, no doubt there'll be even more that are popping up around, around the state. Um, it's, it's the time for, you know, we all love wine and wine tasting, but it's time for beer tasting. Would you guys agree? <laughs> so we're going to bring that beer back here to Enid, we're gonna serve it here alongside ours. We're gonna have guest brewers in as well. We're gonna be doing seasonal specials. Uh, we've also talked about if you're having a private event, a wedding, I might be having one soon. But if, if a wedding or, or, a, or a company event that we're actually gonna make a beer for your event and we can name it after the company and different things. So we think that's that's kind of a neat addition to, to things and, and all the other stuff. I mean, Justin and I were talking this morning and, and just like, man, this looks pretty good. This is kind of a neat idea. Who would have thought that just a couple of us are behind it? But uh, that's what it's about. Um, it's about ideas. It's about entrepreneurship and innovation and taking risks and hopefully developing a great product that all of you love and a place where we can bring the, the heritage of this area in agriculture together with consumers of this community uh, around a cold glass of beer to be able to talk about a lot of things and enjoy ourselves. So thank you so much guys for coming out and looking to Also, if you like this swag, we have t-shirts for sale now. Um, they are $20 tonight only. After tonight, they will be $25. So get them today, $20 tonight. Um, also, we're going, like I said, fill out those cards. We'll be giving one away. Oh, also, if you can't get one tonight, 
you can get one until we're open next door at the Feltbird or at 81 Feed and Seed. South of Waco. It's south of the Waco facility on 81, if you know where that's at, just north of uh, 81 Ranch. So it's right there. Go, go check that place out. We also have homebrew supply there, um, dog food and all that stuff in, in different farms. Yeah, if people want to try the malts. Yeah, please help yourself if you would like to check out the malt over there. That's what this beer has been made out of. Um, you can take a little pinch of the stuff out of the mason jars there if you'd like to crunch on it. Um, but uh, please fill out the comment cards, buy shirts, enjoy free beer. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Johan's Barbecue Truck for being here. We love John, those guys. And thank you so much, Riley Jansen. I absolutely could not do most of my life without you. Um, Riley is a phenomenal, phenomenal local artist, and that just keeps in with this whole thing, guys. We want to keep this all local. We want Enid people here. Um, we want to have local artists here. And uh, again, Riley Jansen, thank you so much. He has CDs for sale too. So uh, please check him out, rileyjansen.com. Thank you guys so much for being here.